All right, here we are, Iowa Deer Classic 2022. I'll try to be slow as to this go around. That's a cool one. Historical typical 140. There's probably a couple deer. I don't know if they're quite taking them down yet, but probably getting pretty close. latest firearm typical <laughs> that's a stun the bases it's huge and the flyers are sweet Dude, look at that. Six. Sheesh. 171, 179 gross. It's typical. Now we get in the big one, boys. Oh my gosh. What a beast of the 10. Oh, I might just got six on the one side. This is archery typical. Archery non typical. Two hundred nine sixty eight gross, Jones County. Justin. I don't see his buck. Hmm. So cold uh, Johnson is the leader on muzzleloader typical. So 184, two eights, 199 gross. Saw this mount. Everybody's talking about this one with the snow. Sprinkled on the top of his head. Things sweet. All right, I'm going to switch to this side here. We'll go over to the Hall of Fame in a bit, but some more youth firearm. Look at the bladed brow on that one. That's sick. Wow, the brows. Bases on that one. Just popcorn bases. So I don't know if you guys are hearing everybody, but that's I think that's the fourth person that said, man, there aren't a lot of deer here. Man, they're small compared to years prior, you know. I don't necessarily know if that's quite true. There are, it does look like there are less deer here this year, but still good quality of box. This is youth archery. Oh, that one's sweet. All right, we'll move down here. This is uh, more archery typical. I see something cool going in 
I mean, that one's pretty sweet. 160, man, you look 179 inch gross. Lost a lot. It's cool here though. Oh, that's a pretty cool one. Just wide. Bunch of awesome deer here. Oh man, look at this one. This guy's got gnarly stuff going on. That's sweet. Guthrie County, huh? It's a great buck for Guthrie County. Roll down here yet. What else we got? On Stoltzman, 194 inch gross. Sheesh. Let's see. Oh man, look at that. What a gnarly looking deer. Just those club drop times are awesome. Love it. That's got some character. Real short. Same with this one. Double drops though. An archery buck. This is a Kansas deer, I guess. That's a cool one. Man, 171. Just, I mean, and he's just like so small framed, but just massive. That's a cool deer, Shelby County. All right, here's some more historical bucks. I got, found some, there's some deadheads. Taylor County deadhead. Bay County, 163, 176 grows. It's pretty cool. Eight. All right, I'm gonna roll on this other side here now. Again. Oh, that's cool. With the American flag on it. It's a cool mount. These all look like. Mostly pretty decent mount jobs by some by people compared to the past. <laughs> oh man, did another double drop. Those are huge drops. Look at that thing. It's uh, Madison County, 171 inch typical shotgun. Or no, non typical, I meant, sorry. A big old wide guy. It's really cool. Double main beam coming out. I'm just gonna roll through these last ones pretty fast so I can get over to the sheds and then we'll go we'll roll over through the historical stuff, but that's a neat deer. Alright, so right now in first place is uh, 86 inch. Single typical, man, giant. Look at these giants. Oh my gosh. Everybody's saying this is a great year for sheds. You know, it's only March too. Wow, look at that one. 120, five eighths. Third place is 104. Sure. First place set, 152 inch. Look at the main beam on that one. I mean, it's huge. We got the non-typical set over here. Ethan's, look at that. That's a crazy bug. Messina, Iowa. That's awesome. It's a great set. I mean, just monsters all around. It's like Ed Nelson brought a couple more this year. He's brought some mule deer sheds and elk sheds in the past. 
Looks like you might have a mule deer set up there too. But man, there are some just studs in the back there. Like that big old four back there. Oh my gosh. Lots of beefy bucks. There's another 68 inch four. I'll go through, we'll go through the record ones, but we got some cool, cool ones here too. Cooper Shed. Steven Sheds, huh? Love how Trophy Books Iowa is on that one. <laughs> there you go, hold on. Alright. Show off the sheds a little bit better here. Just kind of go, go through these quick. But, man. Then I'll roll back through the deer fast again, but... Jim Adams Giant. <coughs> yeah, just unbelievable deer. All Iowa deer, just unbelievable. All right. We'll roll back through on the historical side of the Hall of Fame. Better view of Justin Van Fleet's book. Room 2020. We'll roll through the historical stuff again. I didn't quite catch the end. This is also in our 2020 deer. She's unbelievable. There's uh, Ethan's buck in 2020. Unbelievable deer. So, I'd have to look, but he also found the sheds. <laughs> that big gnarly set that's in first right now. It looks like it found a CRP field. roll through these kind of quick this probably one my favorite deer honestly out of all of them hunter's buck 2020 2020 was a heck of a year for Iowa <laughs> James Reed, Mills, Mills County Buck. We'll just roll. All right. So that's that gnarly one that somebody found, Jefferson County. And then moving through. Let me roll up here real quick. Go through this slow. Um, man, that thing is just so, it's such a neat buck. Even the video just doesn't do him justice, but yeah. It's crazy that thing that was 213 and 48 and it just doesn't have the mass nothing's broken that's crazy it's crazy awesome this guy with all the beefy mass on him too in contrast <laughs> it's just a monster 160 or 176 uh typical eight uh, 185 78 gross on that one just a beef of a bug Hopefully I rolled through these slow enough. Just 
Cole Johnson buck again. Ted Miller, 217 2.8. This guy ended up 194, um, 207 and an eighth gross. Yeah, beautiful deer. There's Todd Johnson. I think that one's, yeah, Todd Johnson is the top firearms non-typical leader. 